It's working to make sure that people struggling financially aren't forgotten. It's part of new research released just today that's set to change how the poverty line is viewed and what resources are available. Six News reporter Luke Snyder is here for you now with more. We can't support what we don't see. We can't address what we don't see. Alyssa Stewart is working to give a voice to Michiganders who, despite being employed, are still struggling to get by. For her, that starts with looking at a different way to measure poverty levels. It's part of a United Way project called ALICE. ALICE shows that there's sort of the federal poverty line, and then above that is this ALICE category of folks who are above the federal poverty line, so often not eligible for different services or benefits, but that are really still, based on the actual cost of living, struggling. Stewart says the current poverty line for a single person household is around $12,000 a year. If you can imagine being able to survive off of $1,000 a month, that is essentially what the federal poverty line reflects. The United Way says their research shows that based off the current cost of living, that amount should be closer to $24,000 a year. And numbers show nearly 40% of mid-Michigan households fit into that category, with experts saying one of the hardest hit groups is people living with a disability. I don't think that people realize how many barriers and challenges a person with a disability faces. And so when you see the actual data along with the, the stories of people's lives, I think those two things combined can be really impactful. Stewart says she hopes the research leads to more resources for the people who need it. Too many folks with disabilities are not receiving the public benefits that would really benefit them. The United Way says right now the data is already being used to focus on specific programming, things like financial planning to partnerships with food banks. For access to help or to get involved, check out our Scene on 6 section on WNS.com. Here for you in Jackson, Luke Snyder, 6 News.